Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. I'm Paul Sillers of Firewalls for Now and Firewall News. And in today's um, edition, we're going to be looking at this, which is the Ubiquiti Unify 8 port switch. This is the US 8. This is a um, PoE or um, powered, mains powered, um, 8 port switch. It uh, only has one PoE pass through port. Uh, but great for um, areas where you maybe can't get power to normally and you could actually power it from a, a Cat5 cable, a PoE uh, enabled um, connection. Um, as you know, these are not meant to be technical overviews. It's to give you an idea of what you actually get in the box. We get so many queries of, do you get a power adapter with that? How big is it? Does it fit in the rack? Um, can you mount it in the rack? Um, so it's great to be able to see something that you get out of the box instead of just the stock images. So we're just going to crack on, open this um, box up for you. So like I said, this isn't a PoE switch, this is a PoE powered um, switch. So just a, a little look of the, the start there of what we get at the top of the box. You get your obligatory um, get started guide, which I'm sure you'll discount at some point. I'm just going to put the actual switch aside for the minute. Now it's important to note that although this unit can be powered by a PoE, um, Ubiquiti actually do give you an external power pack with it as well. Um, so it uses a, a cloverleaf connector, um, which you can see there. Um, and again, in the box here we have um, the cable for your region. This in this instance is Australia. And again, there's the other end of the um, cloverleaf connector. Um, you also get a little packet, we'll just show you here, um, a little packet of um, screws and plugs um, for being able to mount this on the wall or something like that. So obviously many people are using these um, in hard to reach areas, because like I said, this can be truly powered via PoE. So if you want to, if you can get PoE, you can get a Cat5 cable up there, but you've not got mains, maybe it's in a roof void, um, it's in a stairwell or something like this. This is a great little unit to give you some of the options that you need. Um, so you will see it has eight ports across the front. There we go, lift that up a little bit for you. Um, just show you on the back, that's uh, where your mains power can come in as well. You see there's also an earthing um, uh, screw and plate there at the back. So yes, it is eight ports and it is powered via uh, power over ethernet if you want to. So the sacrifice point of that is that if you want to power it by power over ethernet, um, obviously you're going to need to get data to it anyway. So you're going to use one port to get your data to it. So um, the first port over uh, at this end here, where my fingers are at this end, um, that's your PoE in. Um, so obviously data and power are going to be delivered in that port. Now if you do want to then pass power out uh, to another device, it does depend on the PoE that you send in. So if it's, uh, there's a table on our website that'll help you, or Ubiquiti's website, if you send in um, 802.3AF, then there's a different variant that you get out. If you send an AT, then you'll get um, a slightly higher out, obviously, as well. So you do have one pass through port, which is right up at this end here. Um, so you could pass that out to another Ubiquiti device or something else that's PoE powered, a camera access point. So it could be uh, useful there. Um, off the top of my head I don't believe this supports the 24 volt passive so this is only going to be standard power over Ethernet stuff. So a great little switch, really versatile, um, obviously as you can see pretty small um, and you can power that by power over Ethernet. So that is the uh, Ubiquiti Unify 8 port, the US-8 which is power over Ethernet powered but as you can see you also get a external power pack for it if you want to as well. So hopefully that's been useful. My name is Paul Sillers of Firewalls for Now and Firewall News.